How's it working for you? Oh, look at you getting in here. Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna try something I saw on Facebook slash Pinterest slash social media. It's a four ingredient meatloaf. I had an idea to use a bag instead of actually using the bowl in the hands, keeps the nasty off of your hands and it makes it easier to just mix all around. So we're gonna try that little hack as well. So let's get started. Okay, this recipe you'll need a pound of meat, ground beef, you'll need a half a cup of water, half a cup of ketchup, if not more, a packet of stovetop stuffing, any flavor, and two eggs in a grease bread pan. So it just says put all ingredients in a bowl and mix it up. For some reason I feel like this is too much stuffing, so we'll see if it uh, works out or not. Two eggs, half a cup of water, or more, depending on how lean the meat is or how much you want it. And then we'll do half of the ketchup. So the rest we will use for glaze later. Mix it up. I'm gonna let out some of that air to mix better. And the blog portion of this recipe did say if you wanna add extra things, you can. So I might end up adding some cheese to it. I'm not sure yet. That's actually pretty mixed in. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna add some cheese because we like cheese in this family. Ooh, and it smells good. Just gonna form it into its loaf-ish shape. The less I have to touch raw meat, the better. Oh my gosh, that's like perfect. How easy. I am gonna use my hands here to help mold it a little bit better. And then what I'm gonna do also is stick some holes in it to help it cook around a little bit better and evenly. And we're gonna pop this in an oven at 350 for 45 to 60 minutes. So I've actually never made meatloaf before and I realized now, after 30 minutes, that I was probably supposed to put the ketchup on the top, and then I looked at my instructions, and sure enough, I was supposed to. So with the remainder of our time, uh, I'm gonna now put it on, and it looks like it might be a little bit uh, overdone, but you know, that's okay. I'm just gonna temp it, just in case. Don't want it overdone, but definitely don't want it underdone. Well, it's good on that side. It's good there. All right, it looks like I might have overdone it. Okay, so it's definitely done. I'm gonna put it in just so that the ketchup, I don't know, does something for the last few minutes. So it rested for about five minutes and that's how it looks. Let's try it. it smells like stuffing. Okay. For being like 200 degrees internally, it is not dry and Stuffing is my favorite, and you can definitely taste the stuffing without you being like, oh, I'm eating stuffing. If you like instant stuffing, you will enjoy this. I'll have to try it again with more cheese and putting the ketchup on from the beginning. I'm gonna try it with a sweet potato fry. bedtime. Okay, I 10 out of 10 recommend this. 
there definitely could probably be some tweaks, but try it and then tweak it to your preference. What did you think of the meatloaf? It was good. Should I make it again? Mm -hmm. Glad you liked it, baby. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Sam. I'm simply doing the things I need to do, want to do, or things I think would be fun. I'm bringing you along with me. Have a great day. Bye.